Welcome everyone. Here is how to use the live translation feature in iPhone, in messages, inside of FaceTime, inside of phone calls, and I'll also cover how to fix it not working as well. So first of all, if we want to do it inside of the messages app, the way we do this is first of all, someone needs to send you a message that needs to be translated. Then long press on that message and look for the translate option. Now, if you have the live translation feature, when you tap on translate, you should see this option right here. If you don't see that option and it just translates the text, you can see it just translates the text there. Then that means live translation is not working. I will cover how to fix that later on. But if it is working, just tap on translate conversation and then choose the language you want to translate. And while this says translating here, it will translate messages sent to you. And when you send messages, it will also automatically translate those messages as well. Nice and simple. Just tap this and then choose stop translation to stop the translation from taking place. Now, if we're inside of a FaceTime call and we want to use a live translation feature, and this applies to the phone app as well, look for the menu with the triple dot. On FaceTime and phone, it's both the triple dot option. And then you're gonna choose the live translation feature. So try and tap on this one, choose live translation from and to, from meaning the person speaking to you, what language are they speaking, to being your language, and tap start translation. Now, when you speak, your messages are being translated into their language, and then vice versa is happening. If this isn't working, or the messages live translation isn't working, then this is part of the Apple intelligence issue. So Apple intelligence is a little bit buggy, but don't worry, we can get it up and running right now. So to diagnose further, we will need to find where Apple Intelligence is housed. So just open up your settings app and then scroll all the way down and look for Apple Intelligence and Siri. So one of three things will happen. The first one is that I can't see Apple Intelligence and Siri. I just see the Siri option. The second thing that happens is you see Apple Intelligence and Siri. And when we tap into this foot one, one of, you know, so either you're going to have Apple Intelligence and the toggle will be on. If that's the case, you're going to be good to go just like this. And that's why live translate is working. However, if you see Siri here or you see Apple Intelligence, but it's not on what that means is without Apple Intelligence being turned on, the live translation won't work. So if you just see Siri and there's no Apple Intelligence option, that means the hardware in your iPhone does not support the Apple Intelligence feature. Unfortunately for you, you'll need to upgrade your iPhone to iPhone 15 Pro, iPhone 15 Pro Max, iPhone 16 series and newer if you want to use Apple Intelligence. Many people may have bought iPhone 15, iPhone 15 Plus recently, but these iPhones do not support Apple Intelligence, so you are out of luck there. Now, if you do have the Apple Intelligence option, many other users won't see the option to turn this feature on. And the reason why this is happening is because of this. So under Siri requests, you can see language here. And in your iPhone region, there's also a region. These have been set incorrectly. So to change Siri request language, tap into this one and you see it has a region to the right of the language. This region needs to be the current region you are living in right now. So I'm living in United Kingdom. So I'm going to tap English United Kingdom to change the language and then to change the language in our iPhone itself, just head into the general, then scroll all the way down until you see language and region. And then under region, just set this one correctly. So the country you currently live in, you want to set to there. 
once both have been changed, let's go back into Apple Intelligence and Siri. And now we go to toggles available, or it will say turn on, tap to turn this one on. But two things, number one, if that doesn't work, the country you live in does not support Apple Intelligence. So what you'll need to do is try change your Siri request language and your iPhone region both to English United States, and then that may work for you. If it is still not working, then you will just have to wait for Apple to roll out Apple intelligence into your country. Now, the second issue is you can see it says downloading support for Apple intelligence. Until the Apple intelligence files have downloaded in your iPhone, the live translation feature won't work. Once everything is downloaded, the features are turned on automatically and you'll be good to go. Now, real quick, YouTube do not promote my videos like they used to. So if you found this video useful, it really would mean the world to me if you hit the like button down below and just left a comment saying, hey, this video was really helpful. Thank you. And if I did not help you out, you have any questions or concerns, just let me know in the comment section. I will try my best to get back to you. Have a nice rest of your day. Bye-bye.